Queen's Indian Defense, Fianchetto, Classical, Traditional Variation, 7, NE48.BD2BF6. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. It was an incredible middle game by both players. Opening with the Queen's Pawn. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. Nf3 strengthens the d4 piece and moves the knight closer to the center while exerting more control over the e5 square. e6 sets up the d7 d5 pawn push and creates openings for the bishop on the dark squares. c4 gains space on the queen side and center, and prepares to develop the knight to c3. The bishop is prepared to grow into a functional square. The light squared bishop is getting ready to be fianchetto on g2, where it will be positioned on the long diagonal. Fianchetto move bb7 places the bishop on the long diagonal. Fianchetto move bg2 places the bishop on the long diagonal. b7 develops the bishop and prepares to castle. And c3 develops the knight toward the center and controls the e4 and d5 squares. And e4 centralizes the knight and attacks the knight on c3. Bd2 develops the bishop toward the center and supports the knight on c3. Bf6 puts the bishop on the long diagonal and attacks the d4 pawn. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling king side tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent avoids some of the attacking associated with opposite side castling. The rooks can see each other now, allowing them to provide mutual defense. It is a fair deal after all captures. Backs off. Games master. It is the final book action. That is a logical response. It is quite good. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. It is ideal. By moving a rook from its starting square, this activates it. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. Among the best actions. It is quite good. The rooks are linked by this, making it easier for them to work together in the future. It is quite good. Very precise. It is best. It's all right. That's good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. This misses a chance to advance a rook from its starting square. It is incorrect. There were worse maneuvers, but there were also much better ones. It is incorrect. The knight can now control more squares as a result. That's good. This overlooks an opportunity to increase a bishop's scope by moving it to a better square. It is a mistake. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. It was an incredible middle game by both players.